Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today's video is a little different from what I'm normally doing. Y'all know I do vlogs, but today we're going to be sitting down doing a little chit chat. I just wanted to just tell y'all what was going on in my mind, what's been weighing on me heavily, what's been going on with, with me, period, okay? It's been a lot. If you are a woman over 50, or you could be like 45, 35, because I hear menopause is starting early these days. So if you are a woman of a certain age and you are going through the change of life, this is a video for you. So stay tuned. You gonna wanna hear what I got to say. If you've been coping with menopause, your identity, your purpose has shifted. Like if you've raised your kids and you was a housewife and you, you knew nothing but raise your children, what now? What is your purpose? If you are a lady of a mature age and you are going through menopause, y'all, we're going through it together, okay? You're not alone. We have a com you have a community over here, okay? You have a community over here. You can come down here in these comments and just let loose, feel free, unjudgmental. We we are going to go through this together, okay? I drink to that. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna start off with menopause because if you have been having heart palpitations, anxiety through the roof, shoulder pain, you've been dropping everything, you've been going and walking into rooms and forgetting what the heck you went in there for, all of those things are signs of menopause. And you're not going crazy, sis. You're not dying, sis. That ain't that. You, you, you good. But really, we not. For real. Those are symptoms of menopause. You're a woman, you're gonna go through it sooner or later. It's gonna happen. Keep living if you're in your 20s if you're in your 30s keep living it's gonna happen and it's knocked on my door and we are here now <laughs> so those are the symptoms that I've been going through I, I forgot once insomnia insomnia has wrecked havoc on my life because I can't sleep and if you can't sleep you really can't function you're fatigued but then you can't sleep it is the most insane thing your emotions are like a roller coaster up and down one minute I'm so happy and thrilled that I'm doing YouTube and the next minute what am I doing this for it's just hopeless it's worthless it's like what's going on y'all it is a roller coaster I wake up every day and it's just like I'm Jekyll and Hyde like what is going on tell me in the comments comments below who if you're here because of the title and you really want to know what the heck is happening with menopause I'm going to here to let you know that I'm here to validate with you and for you that you are going through the change of lives if you have those symptoms that I just named anxiety is a beast okay anxiety would have you thinking that you're gonna have a heart attack anxiety will make you feel like you are out of your body and you're just you're just a walking avatar it's crazy we're gonna talk about that a little later but we're gonna go into my second part of this is identity for some reason you lose your identity at a certain age especially when you hit that 50 year old mark um some girls are thriving some are struggling i'm part of the struggle bus okay my children are grown they still live with me i think the ones that's probably thriving right now are the ones that children actually left the nest and they're thriving and they don't have sleepless nights um so for me my identity as being mom the nurturer and being mom the woman with grown kids it's two different things that live in this one vessel at this point right now and it's kind of a struggle to differentiate between the two sometimes and sometimes when i wake up i'm guilty because i didn't cook yesterday and i just fed myself i went to wing stop and got me some wings and i didn't i didn't cook and i have other people in here that don't know how to cook and they didn't eat so i have that respect and i feel that guilt you know what i'm saying like i get unnecessary guilt and I don't allow myself the grace to say, you know, okay, they're grown, they can figure it out, they're fine. They got a roof over their head, they don't, they, they're good. Um, everything else, you shouldn't even have to really worry about. But I worry about it because I'm a nurturer. So my identity as being that nurturing, that mom, that, you know, that provider, take care of them, it's kind of like I'm torn between those two people of being 
my independent self that I don't, you know, I, I put my dues in. I raised you already and all those things. So I kind of have a, a struggle with identity. Reality is this economy is not set up for these Gen Zs to thrive. Community, like I feel like after 50, if you don't have that strong core or that core falls apart, it's very hard to gain that, that core back. And when you spend time with people for a long time, build up a friendship with someone, and then all of a sudden it just deteriorates. That was an investment that just crumbled. And you're of an age, of a middle age, and it's just like, I don't even have time. I don't even want to cultivate that with anybody any, anymore. Like at 50, like who's looking for best friends at 50? I'm not doing it. I'm talking about the cons of the 50, then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna rectify everything that I'm talking about as we go. I should have said that at the beginning, but y'all, I'm, I'm gonna try to get better at doing these little sit downs because I'm not a good storyteller and I want to be so bad because I love to listen to people just talk and convey their feelings and articulate it well like I wish I had that and I'm trying so very hard right now so I'm gonna get to my final point would be finding a purpose after 50 um for me I was a housewife for a majority of my marriage I've been a housewife so for me, that dynamic looks like my kids being grown. My identity was being a mom, but I don't have that same purpose of raising and nurturing when I had my children under me as children. Now they're under me as adults, and it's just something that you have to pull back from because you can't dictate to them like that. They have their own minds. They do their own things. They have to fall. They have to get up. They have to structure their lives in the way that God sees fit for them to go through through. It's not our path. It's not our journey. And sometimes it's hard for us to watch them do those things because they do fall and they do mess up. We just have to make sure that we're there to catch them when they do fall to soften the blow a little bit because that's love. And don't get me wrong, there's tough love too, but for the most part, we're there for that. And for me as a housewife, I don't have that anymore. It left me lost. I feel like my purpose was taken away. It became insignificant in other words. So now I'm trying to kind of get that purpose back. Before all of a menopausal things before my surgery I was getting ready to open up a, a boutique called El Terracotta. All I'm saying after 50 find a new purpose and sometimes we need to get a hobby. My hobby right now is YouTube. Right now I'm trying to build. We have new neighbors and every weekend they have all these loud cars that come in the cul-de-sac and make all this noise. My neighbors didn't call the police on them before and everything but child let me okay we're gonna try to get through this. So YouTube has been something that I have been been attracted to for a good 15 years. This is the first year I think I've stuck with it the whole year through. And I've seen a little bit growth. However, it's not as fast as I would like it to be, but I can't blame nobody but myself because I could have been way more consistent. The quality and everything could have been better, but we're not here to tangent on that. Finding your purpose after 50, we have to look at it like we have more life to live. Y'all, today I picked up the phone and said, listen, I need to make an appointment because I can't do this. This I can't do. I'm not doing this menopause thing alone. So I got on the phone, called my OBGYN, and I have an appointment Tuesday to go and talk to him about hormone replacement therapy or any other options that I have to help me remedy some of these, these hormonal imbalances and this menopausal things because child, we not doing this. Risks, I think, were a scale that was kind of balanced. Some of the research that I've that I've seen said that a lot of doctors do not recommend it because it may you may develop cancer, some sorts of cancers, especially if you have a history of cancer. You know, they said that it's a risk of ovarian cancer, uterine cancer. Um, but on the other hand, they say that it, it actually decreases the risk of those cancers. Well, they say some sorts of cancers. And they also said that it helps with cardiovascular vascular, um, disease. It helps with dementia and stuff like that. So I don't know. So that's why I made my appointment. If you are going through those same things and you feel like you can't tolerate this any longer, go make your appointment to the doctor and, and go weigh your options. Cause it, this quality of life, I feel is it just, just not sleeping is not good. Like me staying up for 34, 35, 38 hours is crazy. And then when I do go to sleep, I'm only getting like four hours of tossing and turning. That's crazy. I can't, I can't function like this. With the identity situation, I've been trying to 
delegate more often, trying to teach my kids how to cook, trying to make sure that I delegate, tell them, you know, things to do instead of immediately just getting upset that the, the floors aren't mopped or the kitchen needs to be clean. Speaking up for myself and not taking on the responsibility and the burden of trying to do everything and trying to learn me because kids are grown now. And so I gotta make sure that I feel at peace with that and not grief because that's what I feel like I do. I grieve the life that I thought that I was gonna have because it doesn't look like that right now because of the economy, because of um, all the outside forces that are above me. Community, community, we're going to church. We need to go to church. I haven't found a church home that lines up with the principles and the values and everything that I believe in, the morals, principles, and values that I believe in. Because it's, oh yeah, it's great to, you know, know who God is and you know, know who Jesus is and stuff, but do you have a reverence for his word? Do you have a reverence for his His name? That's where I'm looking at. I'm looking for a Holy Ghost filled um, church that operates in the spirit of, of reverence to God and that's and making disciples, not trying to make people, not trying to make millionaires. We're not trying out here, out here trying to make uh, you, you look good. Like I don't want to be in a church that glorifies people. Are glorifies the congregation are you there for only self edification because we were made to worship God if I'm walking in there and everything is about I I I I, I don't want to be there because I'm there to reverence God with a community of people to worship the Heavenly Father the Most High God that's where I'm trying to go to. I'm trying to go to a church like that. I haven't found one yet here in Houston. If you're in the Houston area and you know something like that, please let me know um, and put it down in the comments so I can go ahead and visit that church. Cause child, I'm trying. That's that's the goal for the rest of this 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 remaining of this year is for me to find a church for my family. Um, so that's where I want to be at with community. My community is not in a bar. My community is not with old friends. My community is not with um, trying to go seek out little groups and stuff like that. I want a community of believers. That's what my community is. And y'all. I'm good with y'all because I, the Lord, the Lord been having pressing me to make YouTube videos for the longest. Like that, this has always been a constant for me for as long as I, I know. So y'all, that's all I have for you today. Y'all enjoy y'all weekend. If you like this video or you like this kind of content, I hope that you will consider subscribing because I will be coming back after my doctor's appointment and letting y'all know what, what the tea is, okay? I'm not saying that y'all just replace that for going to your own doctor's appointments. I'm just saying, I'm gonna come back and tell y'all what he says to me. If you've made it this far to the end of this video, thank you for your, your support or your continued support and please hit the like button so it could just push this in the algorithm. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. I'm almost there. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. Y'all be safe, be blessed. Bye y'all.